change your mind and transform your life. Hey there, I'm Heather Hakes. Welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you live the life you dream about. But before we dive into today's video, I invite you to check out my free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Again, visit my website, heatherhakes.com and opt into my free video training. You can also click on the link below in the description box. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And I wanna know, where are you watching from? Comment below. All right, let's get to it. Let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to live in least resistance, as Abraham Hicks says, to be downstream. I've been following the law of attraction since the secret came out in 2006, and that led me down the path of finding Abraham Hicks, who I always call Abe. I love Abe, and what Abe is teaching us is that we have a choice in every moment, and you know if you're choosing to go upstream, struggling, efforting, trying to make things happen, or if you're downstream, in flow, in alignment, in the vortex, letting things happen, and you know which one you're in based solely on your feelings. How are you feeling? And as Abe teaches, we live in an energetic universe. Our vibration, based on our thoughts and feelings, are literally emitting signals. So as Abe always says, it's like, are you dialed into radio station 89.5, but maybe what you want is on radio station 101.1? What is the difference there? The difference is a slight attunement. The difference is higher vibe thoughts and feelings so you can attune to exactly what you want. So you can get into alignment with your desire. So you can be in the vortex. And being in the vortex, think about a tornado, right? A tornado is a strong, powerful force and all the things come to you. You can become that vortex. You can live life downstream because every single moment you are choosing your thoughts and your thoughts create your emotions and feelings. So what I wanna help you understand is one, how do you get into that vortex? How do you get downstream? Or as Abe even says, the um, opposite end of two stick. Every single moment you get to decide are you in alignment with your desire? And you know if you are because it's coming to you quickly and easily. Or the opposite end of that stick, if you're creating resistance by going upstream, struggling, efforting, low vibe, not feeling worthy, not deserving, you know which one you're feeding based on the actions you're taking, the experience you're having. And I wanna help you get more downstream to live in alignment, to live in flow. Because as Abe always says, and I 100% agree, and I've experienced that you can have, be, and do anything you desire. We live in this amazing energetic universe. I love learning quantum physics. And what quantum physics teaches us is everything is energy, that everything has already been created. So if you can imagine it up here, you can experience it in this 3D realm. But as Abe teaches, in order to experience it, you have to get into alignment. And how you do that are your thoughts and feelings. So when you know what you want and you're living from a state of gratitude and joy is what I like to say, excited anticipation, because that's creating the knowing and the excited anticipation is how's it going to show up for me? How's that money going to come my way? How am I going to meet that individual? How am I going to get that job, career, new business, whatever it is? When you're in excited anticipation, you are downstream, you are in flow, you're in joy, and that's your only job to know what you want and to be in this downstream, to know what's coming your way, that you can click your hand and literally you can have anything you want. But most of us find ourselves in those limiting thoughts, fear, those low vibrations, which put us back upstream. So what I wanna help you do to get into flow and to get in alignment, Catch yourself. Oh, I'm feeling off again. I'm, I'm feeling in a funk. I'm doubting it could happen for me. I'm feeling disbelief. Catch yourself. 
Catch yourself from going upstream, going against the rapid. Catch yourself. And when you catch yourself and you choose again to think of a higher vibratory thought, something more in joy or happiness or just self-soothing, I know it's on its way. It's already mine. It's already mine. Whatever mantra makes you feel good, that when you catch yourself, that's how you turn the boat around and get yourself back downstream to release the resistance in your life. I hope you implement this because every single moment you get to decide what end of the stick are you holding or are you upstream or downstream? And secret, downstream is where everything you want already is. Thanks for watching today's video. I want to know, what was your biggest takeaway? Comment below and let me know. If you liked this video and it resonated, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. I'll catch you on the next video.